Hey guys, so today I'm going to mess around a little bit with the new Jinhao X750 that I just uh, that just came in the mail. Now I've modified an X750 before. This is a Genib modification, and usually you hear people talking about a Nico G or a, um, a Zebra G, but I actually modified it to work with the uh, Tachikawa G's that I have. Let's see if it'll does not want to work today. There we go. So I modded this pin not too, too long ago. Um, actually based on some information I found out through Goulet pins, but also through a lot of experimentation. And um, I really like that I could get it to work with a G-nib. And if your hands are hot or the uh, ink is really viscous, you won't have inking problems that some people are having. I find that when my hands are really warm, um, since it makes the ink a little runnier, I don't have the railroading problems. So I opted to get another... Jinhao X750 from Amazon and I got it in like the sparkle sand body or something it's super glittery though it's really pretty and I've already removed the nib this is the nib that came with it I think it's a medium nib this time the first one I ordered was broad um, saving the feed and the, the collar for it and if you're having trouble removing the nib an easy trick I found is to drop the entire unit in boiling water pull it out with pliers and then quickly dunk it in cold water um, the metal will contract at a different speed than the plastic and uh, you'll be able to pull your nib out this also works if you're trying to remove your g-nib mod in fact that I'd messed up the first time I did my g-nib mod um, and so I just dunked it in water and then did that a few times to pull it out. Um, anyway though, I have these nibs here that I wanted to try. And since I've only got one Jin Hao to do this with, I need to pick carefully. But I was kind of leaning towards the rose since it's almost the right size. Um, and I really like writing with it. And I got my Browse Rose from uh, Paper and Ink Arts here in Nashville. Or I could also try a Hunt 101, but I don't know that it's going to be big enough to actually work. And there's a pretty big gap in between the nib and the feed, but that's going to be an easy enough, easy-ish fix. I also have a spoon nib, but I am pretty sure this is just not going to work. So it's probably going to end up being that rose. And I think pin habit? No, it's another it's another pin review YouTube. Unfortunately, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I'll look it up for you guys. Um, he, oh, this one might be a good choice too. He already did a browse nib. I don't think it was a rose. It might've been a steno, but I'm gonna do it with a rose. And, um, since that seems to fit pretty good. And I am going to need to heat set it, but hardly at all. I mean, it's really close. And the way I do that, and it's the way I did with my GNIB, is I actually, um, I use pliers and a zip tie to hold it taut after it's in the collar. And then I put it in boiling water for a while to set it. So, I'm going to carefully align this. And this. And I might have trouble getting it into the collar. Get in there. And you guys should know, I'm not a fountain pen person. I am, I come from the art side of things. But I love tinkering with art supplies. So if you enjoy this video, you should check out my channel where I tinker and hack more art supplies. So now we have a Browse Rose nib fitted in there. And for comparison, that's the G and that's the Rose. And I wish my phone would focus. So it's going to be a very blurry video, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go heat set this and I'll return. And oh, I should note I haven't cleaned my pin out yet. I was just going to clean the entire thing. Um, after I had assembled and fitted the nib. 
this is what I meant when I said pair of pliers and a zip tie. As you can see, the zip tie holds the pliers taut on the nib. I'm going to go dunk this in hot water and leave it until it cools so that the nib will heat set. There is my nib. I'm trying not to get too close because it'll fog up the camera. But there is my nib in the boiling water and I'm heat setting that little plastic feed in there. Now supposedly ebonite, which is like a hardened rubber, like latex rubber, kind of like tire material, is easier to heat set. So, and this is my second time heat setting a nib. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm only out about five bucks, so I'm not super concerned about it, and I can probably salvage the nib. So you, what you want with the heat setting is you want the feed, that's the black plastic part that has like the fins on it, you want the feed to be so pushed up against that it sort of splays the tines a little bit. Then you're going to remove the clamp, and you're going to... Um, heat set it again and that way the tines will push back against the plastic so you should get a good fit. So my water has cooled and I'm just going to pull this out and slip the zip tie off. Well now my phone focuses. And actually, the rose nib <clears throat> has a pretty tight fit, so I don't even know if we're going to need to heat set it again. But you know what? We can try. So I'm going to boil some water in the water boiler. And, um, yeah. I'm going to put this in when it's boiling without the tweezers and uh, let it adjust itself. All right, so I have my nib setting in the water again and it is boiling water straight from my water kettle. And I'm going to leave it like this until the water itself cools. And then I'm going to remove it and I'm going to run a test. And a method that I found for running tests, if you don't want to get your pen all inky and have to deal with that, is you can actually fill it with water. And that also helps sort of just clean out the works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my pen out off on camera. And um, then I'm going to ink it with water and demonstrate for that, that for you so we can see together if it works. And if it does work, I'll go ahead and ink it up. And I'll probably use Noodler's Black because something that I noticed, like I mentioned earlier, with these modified gin house is you kind of want to use a more fluid ink, something that isn't as viscous. And um, Noodler's might be a little more fluid than the carbon-based uh, pigment ink I'm using, Platinum Carbon Black. So we'll see. It'll be my first time getting to use noodlers as well. So I've had a bottle for a little while. I just haven't had a good opportunity to ink up any of my pens. And since we're talking about noodlers, I went ahead and pulled out my bottle of Noodlers Heart of Darkness, which is supposed to be a waterproof black ink. And it came with a Charlie eyedropper conversion flex. Now, I really love my Noodler's Flex, which is a piston filled. Um, I like drawing with it. This one needs to be cleaned out. You can see the, the uh, platinum carbon ink has kind of gunked it up. So this needs to be cleaned, as does my G-Nib conversion, because the piston converter is almost empty. And with pigment-based inks, you want to clean them out regularly. So I'll probably refill those with the carbon black. But I think I want to try Heart of Darkness in my, um, my rose-nibbed Jinhao. And I'm also going to go ahead and ink up the Charlie that came with it. And to do that, I need to clean it. So when I'm cleaning out my Jinhao, I'll go ahead and clean this out as well. And um, I don't know how long this promotion is going on, but when you order one of the large, how big is this? 
4.5 ounce heart of, uh, pretty much any of their inks seem to come. Any of their 4.5 seem to come with a Charlie. And I was going to order some Heart of Darkness anyway. I've heard great things about it. But when I found out it came with a fountain pen, I was like, sure, I, now I definitely need to. And it seems to have a little bit less flex than the Noodler's Flex, so it should be fun to play with. So for those of you who are new to fountain pens, or maybe you're new to Jin Hao fountain pens, or fountain pens for sketching, uh, the Jin Hao's that I've ordered have both come with converters. I don't know if this is a standard thing, but when you're cleaning it out, there's several great methods available online. I'm going to flush it with a little bit of diluted uh, dish soap. But you want to have the converter attached like this when you fill and um, clean out your pen. So, the problem with an eyedropper conversion is you don't have a piston in it to force the liquid through. So I'm going to try, um, and there's already some silicon grease on the inside it feels like. I don't want to remove that, but I do want to clean it out. So I am, and I do have more silicon grease if I do need to replace it. And that helps ensure a leak-free um, fit. And for those of you who are curious how the Charlie looks compared to the Flex, there is a side-by-side. -side. And I actually use my Flex quite often, so it's a little bit dirty, but it's surface grime. Um, I just cleaned it out. As you can see, the Charlie has... Can I, can I get that for you guys? I may have to take pictures. The Charlie doesn't have as many... Um, fins on it and they don't seem to be as deep but you know it's a free fountain pen and uh, I don't maybe I'll feel a little emboldened to play around with it and experiment with it I really like how my um, my flex works so I don't really mess with it a whole lot but you know if I had another I might be inclined to experiment with it so I can almost get it I'll try to get it with my better camera so you guys can see how a Flex and a Charlie stack up. Hey guys, I went ahead and I filled the piston of my new Jin Hao X750 with just clean water. I'm going to go ahead and screw the body on. And we're just going to do a little test on some paper. And really, it doesn't matter particularly what paper we grab. So I'm just going to grab a scrap list. And you guys might not be able to see what I'm doing, so you'll just have to trust me. Let's see if this works. Okay, so, so far it is a little too flexy, um, but it does seem to be running, and it does drip some, but I mean, we are working with water, and I really just wanted to make sure that there was some flow. Maybe this one will need something that's a little more viscous. We'll find out. But anyway, given how flexible it is, it's going to be very, very prone, if you guys can't tell, to, oh, it doesn't want to focus. It's going to be very prone to railroading. So when we do fill it with ink, that is going to be a concern. Alright guys, so everything has been clean and inked up. Now it's time to do a little bit of testing. So we're going to start out with that Jin Hao X750 that we modified with a browse. Um, come on. So sometimes... If you have trouble getting it to start, you can dip it in a cup of clean water or you can shake it until a couple of drops fall out. That's just to help get the ink flow to the tip. But it's very flexible. It's capable of some pretty wide lines, but it will railroad. I think if you were using a really thin ink, maybe one that isn't waterproof, you wouldn't even get the railroading. So if you're looking for um, a fountain pen, maybe for brush type calligraphy, this might be a good mod for you. Of course, the railroading is a little bit of a frustrating thing, but it works. Now, this is my original modified Jin Hao, modified with a G-nib. It's been cleaned and refilled, 
it's a lot stiffer than the rose nib and it's writing a lot better than it had been um, I'm not getting the railroading problem at least on this paper my good old standard Noodler's Flex has been re-inked with carbon ink. I decided to go with that after all. And this is the Charlie. And the Charlie has Noodler's Heart of Darkness in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope I have empowered you to try modifying your own Jin Hao or fount other fountain pen. I hear the Conrad has a size 6 nib and the nibs that we replaced, the Rose and the um, G nib are both size 6 nibs for dip pens. So I hope that I have empowered you to go out and modify your own. It's inexpensive, it's pretty fun, and if you're interested in fountain pens for drawing, it may be the only way you're going to get a nib that you actually want in your pen. So I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!